Michael Payne Absolutely. from HGTV is here, and your show is Designing for the Sexes. Absolutely. Why? Why? did you come up with this idea? Well, first of all, I have to, I have to say I would love to take full credit, but cannot take any credit. <laughs> oh, okay, good. This is... We got that out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this was the brainchild of an executive at HGTV. Right. And what he wanted, he realized that of all the millions and millions of couples uh, throughout, throughout the United States, wherever two people are living together, there are always going to be design dilemmas. <gasps> He and you're wants, not kidding. He wants, she wants. And so the whole premise of the show, it's reality television right. here. It's all about the hopefully successful resolution of these design dilemmas. Okay. That's what I do. So you're in L.A. Yeah. and you visit couples in the L.A. area Absolutely. to do this. What has been one of the uh, things that folks fight about the most, do you think? You know... <laughs> Men being men and women being women, right. and they are very different. Yes. Vive la différence. We agree on that. Yes, right. they're very different. Is that men and women really do differ over the same thing over and over again? I mean, men, for example, love the color white. They, they just, do? They do. They want white walls. I mean, I oh, ask like them. Like plain, right? Like plain, nothing. No. Nothing. Yeah. Women love color. Yeah. So one of the major differences in homes is that women want color. They want frills. They want tassels. You know? They want frou-frou. They want feminine things. This sounds very familiar, yes. And men don't want any of that. Yeah, that's us. My husband and I, right. he likes blank walls, bl white walls, you know, that sort of thing. And I, I like, you know, pink and red. And exactly, exactly. <laughs> and with all the little frills and all the little, you know, frou frouy touches. Right. Men, on the other hand, they want their big screen TVs. I mean, their TVs can never be big enough. Yeah. They want all the components. They right. want the DVDs. I inherited all that when I married my husband. You I see? had none of it. But he <laughs> loves that. He okay. loves to have control over all of the remotes. Yes. So that's a big problem. Oh, it's a big problem. All right, so you go into somebody's house, and uh, uh, what's the first thing you do to help them resolve any issues? Well, the first thing I do is always is I, I, I ask them, I'm looking at the space, a room that they want to have changed, yes. and I ask them individually, what do they see? Okay. In the future, what do they see in this room? And they each, d you know, d define, describe what they have in mind. And there's a way to bring it together? Then. Oh. It's all about compromise. I come up with a design solution that literally does meet that middle ground. Nobody gets everything, but somebody gets something. Yeah, somebody gets a white wall here, a red well, wall there. Well, it may not be white, but it, <laughs> but it won't be screaming red. Right. It may be a, maybe a subtle sage green or a, a buttery yellow or a color, a color like that. And do you offer tips as well for folks watching the show on how to d uh, resolve some of these dilemmas at home <laughs> if you're not going to show up at their doorstep? I think the way it works, actually, Desiree, is if they watch the show enough that they will learn from show after show after they will see how the whole process works okay. they will understand and that. people love right now those are those are hot those shows about are, designing they, and that sort of thing it's true very hot it's true and and it's but my show in particular is a favorite because it has as it has a happy ending there are some of these shows where I mean it's almost about surprising the other right. person <laughs> like a neighbor where all of a sudden they walk into their own home and go oh, oh no, no that doesn't happen with you <laughs> my, the way it happens with me, if I do my job correctly, is they both look at what I've done and say, that is just fabulous. Well, you've got a book. Tell everybody about the book. And the information actually on, on the screen right now, Let's, Let's Ask Michael is the name of the book. That's and correct. And you will be at Warwick's Bookstore tonight at 730. That's correct. It's a free event. And will you be giving tips and that sort of thing? I will absolutely. I'll be talking for a little while. I'll be taking questions and answers from uh, from people there oh, about good. everything so if they have their own home dilemmas I'll answer those okay. and then I'll get to sign books if they'd like me to sign my new book let's all ask Michael right. do you do bathrooms yes okay, I do good. it all <laughs> I'll have to ask you about that all right well thank you so much for coming in we appreciate it that's right it was my pleasure all thank right. you